What's up everyone, UK here, and today's video we're going to take a look at respawn and mermaid load times in Sea of Thieves. So this is the second part of a previous video that I made comparing the load times in Sea of Thieves from the internal hard drive of the console to an external solid state drive. But in case you haven't seen that one, I'll link that in the description below. Let's check out the respawn and mermaid load times in Sea of Thieves using the console's internal hard drive and an external solid state drive. Firstly, we will take a look at respawn load times in Sea of Thieves. Respawn load times in Sea of Thieves can make the biggest difference in the game. If your ship has taken heavy damage and is close to sinking, respawning in 5 seconds compared to 5 to 10 seconds can be a decider on whether or not your ship sinks or you save the ship. So I went with 3 different respawn tests to keep it accurate with actual gameplay. So the first one you'll be seeing is respawning at a skeleton fortress. With PvE along with PvP possibilities here, I thought this was a great example to show as it is a small to medium sized island. The second will be respawning at Thieves Haven. This will show respawning load times at a large island. The third is dying and respawning while on a moving ship. This in my opinion is the best example of a respawn test. As during ship combat where either both or all ships will be moving at the same time, so respawning back to your boat during combat is vital. So let's take a look at three respawn comparisons in the game. That being loading from the Ferry of the Damned back to your ship. So as you've just seen from those comparisons, there is quite a bit of difference in the original Xbox One. With the Xbox One S comes mixed results, but also very, very good results coming from the Xbox One X. Moving on to mermaids in the game. You might not realize this, but mermaiding back to your ship in combat is also just as important as respawning while the ship is sailing. You're about to see two examples of using a mermaid. The first one is simply falling off the boat. This can cover being hit by a cannonball off the boat and also just falling off it. The second will be using a mermaid from one island back to the boat at another. For this example, I use Crow's Nest Fortress for the Mermaid and Devil's Ridge for the boat. This shows the large distance when using a mermaid. This would be an example of leaving a player at an island while the rest of the crew continue to voyage off to another island. So here are those two mermaid comparisons.
Those were the differences in respawn and mermaid times of an original Xbox One, an Xbox One S and an Xbox One X. With my previous videos showing low times in Sea of Thieves and this video showing respawn and mermaid times, I hope this helps you make the decision on whether or not you want to invest in a solid state drive for your Xbox One. That brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this one, please click the like button and leave a comment. And if you'd like to support me further, please click the subscribe button and also hit the bell to get notified every time I upload. Until the next one, thanks for watching.